Hey, Farm Fam. Happy Monday. I am spending this morning um, <clears throat> gathering together garbage. I will admit I've let my fridge go far too long without cleaning it out. Um, but I am taking a load of garbage to the dump today. Um, this morning I have my dad coming. Poppy's not here yet, honey, but he's going to come and watch you and Harper. And Mommy's going to take a bunch of garbage in the big dump truck to the dump. When Poppy comes, that's right. So, no, not yet, but it's gonna be very soon. I'm gonna go get a tub to throw all my food waste in, cause that can go to the chickens and stuff. And everything else is going in this big garbage tin. Harper spilled something. <sighs> Garbage. When they say it takes a village, it is no more true than when you are a farmer or especially a farm mom, right? I'm leaving to go and take garbage to the dump. It's something we've been putting off and have really needed to do. And the only way I'm able to do that is by having somebody come and watch the girls because the trucks just, I just don't want to have to take them along. Anyways, my dad and his girlfriend have come to watch the girls which is just awesome. They're part of the village and it's just another person in my team that's helping me get the things done that I need to get done. So pretty appreciative this morning. My comfort level driving a truck has been boosted like tenfold in the last month and a half. It's another bonus, I guess. Hi. Stop by Peggy's to grab some of her garbage. And then she's gonna show me how to work this dump truck. I know Brutus. Every time I see Brutus, he gets all excited. He thinks he's going back for more with his girlfriend. We're all done with you for a year, buddy. At least a year, okay? Farm fam. So it's been a pretty hectic morning. Lots of running around, dumping garbage, getting a, tra a trailer. Um, and the reason I had to pick up the livestock trailer is because my aunt is giving me a free bedroom set, but it is it needs to be moved ASAP. And so Peggy is letting me borrow her livestock trailer. I have to empty it out and put down a tarp. And then this evening, when my husband gets home, we're going to go and pick up that bedroom set. So, just an uh, organizational thing that I wanted to get done. And, oh, I'm going to put on my, I'm going to put on my overalls. On the road. Headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country Past old timey scenes Big birds were singing In the tall willow trees Mighty fine Three words written on the paper bag I miss you Written in a message in black Thrown in a van Two thousand miles back A better time And 
how many souls and times that I've told the places that I'd want to be and how many days when I could have stayed instead of just getting up to leave and giving we make time Puppies, 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 puppies. Come on, that's our little puppies. Oh, now we're not you, chunksters. Hi, hi. Which one's that? Abel. It is. It's Abel. <laughs> A long coat walking on a New York street A pack of crushed cigarettes that fell to her feet Well ain't it odd the house on Hugs for copper. <laughs> Is that your doggy? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Aww. <laughs> oh. Hey, farm fans. So it's evening time. You'd like to come? I'm sorry, honey. Mommy's got to go all on her own. She's driving the truck. I'm going to go and pick up a bedroom set in town. Uncle Hayden's going to meet me and help me. Thank you. Can't forget my my Avery. Copperwood Acres fanny pack. Avery. And uh, <laughs> the hubby's yeah. home with the kids. So, yeah. all right, Harper, Mama's heading to town. You say bye bye. 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 But that's the truth. And two pictures buried in a guitar case. Woo! Have my brother and a friend come and meet me in Peterborough. We sewed the trailer up with a whole bedroom set. I feel like I've spent the whole day on the road. I'm gonna go home, have a bite to eat, hopefully be home in time. <laughs> telling me they need hay, which I'm not gonna have a chance to do this morning before we take off. And as per usual, my paranoia that the cows will bust out while I'm gone is high. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up to the barn and throw out a square bale of hay for them to keep them occupied for a few hours while I'm gone to town. And when I come back, it'll be the first thing on my list is to get out and give them another bale of hay. Okay guys, everybody wants some? Harper wants a little bit of a play date, so we're going to play group this week. Words that I've said scorch the flesh. The voice that I raise rattles the bones. As I slam the door, white doves flew away. Thinking what's left behind is not for me anymore. Rushing through Come some in. dark streets, heading for the highway. Watch. Hi, Farm Bam! Hey, you say hi. hi. I'm uh, just getting back from our play date. We went to play group. And I think if Harper, like if I wanted to, I could put Harper down now. But I would like to try to save her an afternoon, a good long afternoon nap with my girl. So her and I are going to go out and do some chores first. This yeah, we're going to go and feed the babies. And then Mommy's going to start the tractor because the cows need hay. And we're going to take a look at getting some water up to the barn for all the birds and the bunnies. So come on out with me. We'll see how much we can do, eh, Harper?
here to get daddy. We stopped for 10 minutes, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. Then we have to chauffeur him to a doctor's appointment. I think yeah. we're gonna have dinner in town. Can I see? Yeah, you can see. Welcome back to the farm. It is late in the evening and I just managed to get the baby down for bed. And the toddler definitely needs a bath after her day at daycare. So dad's gonna take care of that tonight while I head up to the barn and make sure the chickens and the turkeys and the rabbits have everything they need for the evening as far as food and water. And then when I come back down, I'll say goodnight to the oldest. And Beefcake still needs a bottle before the end of the night at some point. I'm taking care of him, I promise. 
be scolding him. He's not still going to still leave the pasture. That's a girl. You tell him to go and nurse from you. Good girl. Good mama. I'm sorry. He came to me. Oh, she's all mad at me. But see? She's a good mama. She's letting him nurse now. Good girl. Good mama. <laughs> That's a good sign. You wonder where he is when he's gone, eh? I didn't take him. You're fine. Oh. Every new heartbreak hurts a little more.